So the last player we're going to talk about tonight, 100 grand, a Marth from Minnesota. He was on the PR in 2018. He hasn't been as active or they haven't had a recent PR to have him ranked re uh, recently, but we're going to see from his records against the current one and two ranked in Minnesota that he'll probably be number one on the next PR. And that's what 100 grand said to me himself. So I guess you can take that with a grain of salt. But as like we do for everyone, we're going to run through all of his events and see if 100 grand has the resume to make the top 100. Okay, so he starts off the year at B Mine, where he got wins over Slow King. I forget. Uh, Slow King is the first in Iowa, so like this Midwest kind of area. Starting off the year, uh, losing to two local players, Minnesota Ben and O'Reilly. Minnesota Ben is the first in Minnesota. Who would have expected? O'Reilly is fifth in Chicago. I believe, yeah, he picks up more Slow King wins throughout the year. And I think the important thing to note and what came through when I was talking to 100 Grand, both the top players in Minnesota, Preeminent, who plays Fox, and Ben, who plays Sheik and Marth. And oh, the PR comes out in a week with Adam Page in number one. So there's your, your spoiler alert, guys. So everything's going to be thrown around. Actually, probably by the time this video comes out, it's going to be outdated already, which is a feels bad, man. This is all a roundabout way to explain that this loss isn't the worst thing in the world because, again, locals is general trends. So we have one loss to Minnesota Ben here and then win over Minnesota Ben, win over Minnesota Ben, and another win over Minnesota Ben. Just showing a general trend of he beats Minnesota Ben is, and is what we're trying to get from local events like this. Yeah, so Absent Page is, is coming back and is going to be on the ballot and will probably be a top 100 player. Yeah, uh, so the two O'Reilly losses, not my favorite thing to see, but everyone else generally locally seems to beat. A win over Force, who's going to be top 100, is cool. And because 100 grand, especially because he's a late addition to the ballot, uh, definitely going to be thinking of him as like right on the cusp, fighting for his way in there. So this is one I'm going to highlight. Player a little bit closer for like a Zamu kind of level, but something I want to highlight here nonetheless. There's kind of a reason, even though there's no wins and no losses here, I think showing this is important. This is just the show that he sometimes shows up the local events and is able to win them even if they don't have like top players in the region he's able to win them without dropping sets we come down to the big house getting a 33rd there pretty good not losing any bad players and then panda tiramisu and tempo uh, tiramisu is the fifth best in new england panda again i haven't had the chance to look at panda's results but again a player around this uh around this area and I, if it was any other player around zamu's calendar i would be more inclined to be like damn this is a really good win because zamu zamu is the guy who beat triff this year but Zamu has a lot, a lot, a lot of bad losses on his resume. Lost the homemade waffle, Shabo, Reeve, Just Joe, Nagy, Koyashi, Travioli, Papa. So Zamu, a win over Zamu isn't nearly as valuable as you would first expect it to be. Double eliminating him is really good to see. Not the big hallmark, carry my resume, carry me onto the top 100 win. So we circle back to the question. Will 100 grand make the top 100? I think it really depends on what everyone else around him looks like. On my, my initial take, I'd say probably not. Beating players around this caliber is cool, but again, Zamu being the your best win and he could potentially make it it depends on the people around him and honestly like i don't think he's gonna make it like now now kind of thinking it over and just looking at this of like these are the real big events we have and again let me go back and put back in the locals i don't know man i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of this resume this is a, a good trend upwards like the only bad losses coming in the early part of the year. I'd love to see him play over really again or see if they've played more sets than this. If he is making it, he's making it on the back of his consistency. I just don't think his consistency will be enough to carry him just looking at this. Because, like, he doesn't have... If he had just, like, one more better win, I could maybe see him more likely sneak in. And I still think there's a possibility he sneaks into the top 100. Just consistency on its own. That's why we talk about peaks and consistency together. Because just having one isn't generally enough to carry you all the way or just being really good at one and really bad at the other say someone like zamu he's the peaks of like a player top 40 maybe top 30 player but he has the consistency of a player that might even not make the top 100 so 100 grand has the consistency of a player who makes the top 100 but he doesn't have the wins 100 grand at 101 would just be so sad to see he's by no means a player i look at the resume and i'm just like immediately like okay not making the top 100 he's one where i'd probably think about it marinate a bit he's probably like that 101 to 105 kind of range like i think about it i like this resume 
I feel hopeful for him getting better in the future, especially if Absent Page is returning more to local events and he'll get that that high quality Fox practice to go out to tournaments. Because we'll see a player like Jake and Jake can go out to tournaments and pick up wins over Spacey's. So I think we could see something similar if 100 Grand's starting to get a lot of Absent Page sets. To see 100 Grand come out to majors and start picking up wins over Spacey's. So yeah, I think that about does it for our discussion of 100 Grand. 